Let's talk about tone development. Of course, when we talk about tone development, we have to bring into other elements into this whole thing, such as breathing, and such as goldfish, and even whistle tones. So let me just go over some of this again. Let me just talk about goldfishing. Goldfishing is a term I uh, invented years ago, which is I was taking, actually making a bit of fun out of a student because we're doing this all the time. And actually, when I figured doing it on the flute actually ends up with actually a clearer sound because both lips are going forward at the same time, which is, I think, the way we should do it. So we take a note, again, A, simple note. D, any notes will do, really. <clears throat> but really co concentrating on keeping both lips working forward at the same time. So if we even start a scale, let's, let's take, a, let's be a little bit more adventurous this time, we'll go into A flat major. So on. Then we can do it as a melody, and I still, still bring back melodies into play all the time. This idea of playing scales melodically. You can even combine this with other breathing exercises. Again, like keeping the last note as long as possible, and then taking a large breath. So when you're playing these scales or melodies, be very aware of the key that you're in and look out for certain strange notes. For example, I like A flat major because it combines D flat and E flat. So to me, D flat is a little bit weak, maybe even a bit low, and E flat is a little bit hard or bright or sharp. So if we don't make adjustments, See, the E flat just pops out. So bear this in mind that each key has its own peculiarity. That's why I would really advise you to play in all the major and minor keys melodically. Now, another aspect of tone development which I touched on before is using whistle tones. And these are really good, particularly for developing the low register. They're also a great way for warming up outside a room. If you have to come in and play an audition or an exam and you don't want anyone to hear you warming up, they're very, very quiet. So let's take a whistle tone on A. I, I pick A because I find it easy. So always, always get the easy way out. Then what I do, without trying to change anything, is just add more air. It's a very good exercise for the low register. Now I find it a particular challenge not to change anything. I want to pull down here, but believe me, that's not the best way to do it. And it doesn't matter what whistle tone you get, just take anything and try to hold it. The actual exercise is keeping everything nice and forward and relaxed. So on the whistle tone itself, keep your lips quite relaxed. Once I tighten, I don't get any whistle tones. So it's very good for keeping your lips forward and very relaxed. So if it works well, I should be able to get down to low C with no trouble. That worked.